Feeling bored at home? Here's a few easy ways to get more creative video from your mobile phone. Enjoy! is bored at home. Do not feel bad. You are not alone. However, boredom is no replacement for creativity. In fact, being stuck at home is an incredible time to learn new skills so that when the world reopens, we can take our mobile phones, our cameras, and go out and capture the world in a way we've never been able to do before. So in the spirit of creativity, I partnered with Show Me for the new Mi 10 mobile phone that shoots 8K video at 30 frames a second to create what you just watched and then teach you exactly how I did it. So whether you're shooting an 8K on the Mi 10 as well, or you are creating on any mobile phone, like all cameras, phones need light to operate as well. So find somewhere that's really bright, but not too harsh, and it'll give you a really nice filmy look. Secondly, stabilize your footage. Whether you're using an aftermarket stabilizer or in-camera stabilization like Steady Shot 3, it is very important that you stabilize your shots if you want them to look cinematic. The last tip when shooting on your phone is find out what special features your phone has and then use them to your advantage. For example, the Mi 10 shoots 8K 30 frames a second. I'm definitely gonna be using that. But it would also be important to know that it shoots vlog mode and a macro mode or a slow motion mode or even pro mode where you can dial in your settings and your camera will not shoot on auto. Not to mention, it takes 108 megapixel photos and has some photography features that you wouldn't even believe exist in a phone. Pro mode was on this entire video. But now that you're starting to understand the fundamentals of phone cinematography, let me walk you through how I captured some of the shots in my beginning film. The first shot of the entire film is me opening the front door to reveal my girlfriend Angelique and she's holding a photo of us. Now this effect was possible because I was shooting in 8K, which means the original shot actually looked like this. The photo in the frame was just the first frame of the next shot I had captured. But since I had the extra resolution in post-production, I was able to scale in and make it cover the entire screen. And well, that's how I did it. The bed sheet shot is one of my favorite examples of a very easy transition. All you're gonna need to do is put your camera in pro mode or manual so that when you cover the lens, it doesn't get brighter. The next step was to find my point of transition. I decided to use when Angelique went through the curtain. I knew my next shot would be of my dog, so I grabbed a t-shirt and just pulled it over the lens as if it was the curtain. When I got on the computer, I put them together white to white and it ended up looking like this. Literally took me like five seconds. Another easy tip is to pass things in front of a lens to create a seamless transition point. I actually did this multiple times in the film using a prism. You can use a stick, a prism, a person, doesn't matter. As long as it crosses the lens, you're good to go. And then the last tip I'll give you is actually present throughout the entire rest of the film. Let's say you didn't wanna plan all of these shots and you just wanted it to be more natural and go have fun. You notice how all of these shots right here at the end seem to just go together? It's not because they were pre-planned, it's actually because they all move from left to right. By simply choosing a direction to move your camera throughout a series of shots, you can make incredibly seamless transitions without ever having to plan what's coming next. It's just something to keep in mind because these type of hacks can raise the production value of your creations without costing you even a dollar more to create. And just remember, if you find yourself demotivated at home, not knowing what to shoot, look around your house and allow your house to be your source of creativity. Find the nooks and crannies that are often overlooked play with shadows, play with light, and play with camera movement. And before you know it, you'll be back out in the world shooting, but you'll have more skill, more knowledge, and more ability to capture what you're trying to capture. But other than that, that is it from me today. I wanna to give a massive thank you to Show Me, the sponsor of this video, for sending the Mi 10 Pro and helping me actually create this video. I had personally never shot in 8K, let alone 8K on a cell phone. So thank you, I will never be able to go back to anything else, so <laughs> great. But if anybody at home is interested in winning a Mi 10 Pro or a Mi 10 as well, they are running their My Home Movie competition right now, which is all about staying creative and connected at home. These are the competition details and the link will be in the top line of the description. 
because let's be honest, if you're at home bored, you have no excuse not to enter. But other than that, if you guys have any other questions about cameras, photography, or shooting on your phone, leave it in a comment and I'll get to it as quick as I can. And before you go, remember, stay motivated, stay inspired, and never stop creating. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.